How do you create high selling, high converting Shopify product pages? Let's find out. Hey, what's up everybody and thank you for watching today. Let's dive right into the video. So I've got a pretty stock, pretty typical uh, product page loaded up right here. It's this OK Dad design. I've loaded it up on one of my Shopify stores and you can see what, what we have here is we basically have just like a stock print on demand product page. So you create the product and print on demand in your print on demand app, it pops over to Shopify and basically this is what you get. Uh, you get this kind of stock product description, you get these basic mockups, you might get the size guide if you decide to include that. And that's pretty much it, right? This is the product page. So what I wanna talk you through today is four steps to upgrade this product page, really make it a high converting uh, product page. The goal of the product page is to get people clicking this add to cart button. One thing you might see on your Shopify store that might look a little bit different here is you might have a shop pay button right here under the add to cart button and the add to cart button might be uh, actually just clear and that's an easy setting you can change inside your theme settings because we always want our add to cart button to be big and bold because that's where we want to send people, that's where we want them to click we wanna give them the least amount of options possible, so I'd recommend just having that bold add to cart button right there. But what I wanna walk you through in the main part of this video is four steps, four areas that you can go through that you can kind of audit your product pages and really upgrade them to get them selling a lot more. And I call this the four Ps of a perfect product page. The product page is where you're gonna be sending most of your traffic, and if you're not sending your traffic to the product page, you need to start because that's step number one in getting a lot more sales. Send people to the product you want them to buy. The first thing we need to look at is price. You need to have the right pricing because your pricing could be too cheap or it could be too expensive. We need to get in that sweet spot to get people buying uh, more of our products. Now one thing you need to do is you need to stop trying to be the cheapest product out there. You don't ever want to be the cheapest product out there and in fact, there's no strategic advantage to doing that because every single competitor can just undercut you and undercut you and it becomes a race to the bottom where there's no profit left and that's not a winning formula. So what we instead wanna do is we wanna build a ton of value in our products with things like a really strong and friendly return policy and really high quality photos that showcase uh, how high end our product is. We wanna talk about the quality of our product. We wanna have great customer service. We wanna have a easy and streamlined checkout process with no bugs and no technical issues uh, so that people can get through their checkout easily. And we can also consider adding things like digital products and adding additional value through bundles and different things like that that will increase the perceived value of our products and allow us to charge more for our products. One thing that you might wanna do when it comes to price is you might wanna go out and research your competitors. Where are they selling at and who are the big players in your niche uh, and what prices are they selling at and maybe that will give you a good barometer. As I mentioned earlier, you definitely don't wanna be crazy expensive. You don't wanna be charging $50, $60 for a t-shirt, but if you're in that 25 to I would say 39 or $40 range for a t-shirt, I think that's perfectly acceptable in most uh, niches and in fact, I would encourage you to get to at least probably that 28 to $32 price point with your t-shirts specifically. Now other print on demand products, it's a whole different game, so definitely do your research, but just talking about t-shirts, anywhere in that probably 27 to $32 range, I think is gonna be a good spot for most people. So that's the first P, price. Make sure you've got a good pricing strategy before you move to the second P. The second P is photos and mock-ups, photos and mock-ups. So you can see right here on my screen that what I've got is just the stock mock-ups that came from my print on demand. And about nine times out of 10, these are gonna be, they're gonna be stinky. You wanna upgrade your mock-ups. You wanna have really good mock-ups uh, in your store. That's going to allow people to see what the product, the t-shirt, the apparel item, or the print on demand product, what that looks like on a person, what that looks like in the wild. If you're doing wall art, it lets people see what it looks like in a room, right? So we want to upgrade our mock-ups to more lifestyle mock-ups that show people what it's going to look like. Now, these flat lay mock-ups are still useful, but we want to upgrade those to more professional, better looking flat lay mock-ups where we're just showing the t-shirt. And so I wanna give you a couple examples right now. now. I've been talking about this brand 
called Whole Strength a lot. We've been talking about this on the podcast and in a few videos. Really, really cool brand there. Absolutely crushing it. Multiple millions of dollars per year. One thing I wanna point out, their t-shirts are 40 bucks, going back to price. So that's one thing we could point out here. Their t-shirts are 40 bucks and they're still selling millions and millions of dollars. So I don't wanna hear your excuses about your product needed to be cheaper, okay? But one of the reasons they can charge $40 is because look at these incredible mock-ups, right? These are mock-ups of their ideal customer. This is somebody that looks like their customer and they're in the gym, right? These are great mock-ups that they've taken. Now, do you need to go out and do a photography session uh, to get these great mock-ups? No, you don't. Here's what you can do. You can check out websites like Etsy or even place it. Now, if we go over to Etsy and we search t-shirt mock-ups, you're gonna have a whole host of different kinds of mock-ups that are really high quality and really easy to work with. You can download one of these mock-ups. Let's say that you get this one for $1.23. You can pop it into Canva and lay your design right over the top of it and you'll instantly have a really high quality mock-ups. Uh, mock a lot of these are gonna be a little bit more female focused, but you can find things like this one right up here, which is all male focused mock-up. And another thing you can do to kind of give you another tip here is you can add your niche into the search. So I've searched right here for outdoor t-shirt mock-up. So if you were in any kind of outdoor niche, you can see here on my screen, if we scroll down a little bit, here's a hundred mock-ups of the, of the Bell & Canvas 3001 that are all outdoor, right? This is the mountain bundle over here. Now th this one's forest, this one's mountain. You're gonna get 120 mock-ups that are mountain mock-ups, right? You can get things like this with mock-ups or with mountains in the background. You can get things like this one you see down here and some of these that are more outdoor focused. So that's another tip. Now the other thing I would recommend, one of my favorite tools is called Placeit. And Placeit is so easy to get amazing mock-ups. So if we go down to apparel, we go to all apparel, they have thousands and thousands and thousands of mock-ups that you can uh, lay your design on and then you can use these in your marketing, you can use these uh, on your website, a lot of, a lot of Barbie mock-ups, which is interesting, but you can actually narrow this down. So let's say you're in the USA or America niche, we can simply type USA t-shirt mock-up and that's going to give us all these amazing mock-ups that are gonna be USA or America focused. Really cool, right? We can simply add our design on here and then we can upload those to our product page and that's gonna help us upgrade our mockups. And by the way, if you go over to shirtschool.com slash place it, you can actually get 15% off your first month or 15% off a yearly subscription. So if you go over there, you'll see a screen like this, make sure it says 15% off. That's an exclusive offer we have for our followers. So you can go check that out if you wanna try place it. The third P in the four Ps is product description. Now, when you create your product in print on demand, it's gonna come with one of these really stinky product descriptions that focuses on features and not benefits. So you're gonna get things like rolled forward shoulders, stylish fitted sleeves, seamless double needle collar. None of this makes any sense to the average consumer. We wanna talk about the benefits. We wanna talk about how soft and cozy our t-shirts are. We wanna talk about the fit and how it's going to fit perfectly. And we wanna let customers know whether they need to size up or size down or get their true to size fit. Those kind of things are important to customers, not these things, tubular fit for minimal torque. What does that even mean, right? We wanna talk about how fast our shipping's gonna be. We wanna talk about maybe where it's made if it's actually made in the USA or it's made in a place that matters to our customer, right? We wanna talk about our return policy so they know if it doesn't fit, they can exchange it, right? We wanna talk about those things that are important to the customer. And we also want to rewrite this initial uh, place, uh, this initial portion here of the product description to talk about what the design means and why it might be important to that potential customer. Let me give you a couple of examples. This is a brand called Parks Project and they have this uh, t-shirt right here, which is the Tiva X Parks Project. Now, a couple of things you can see here that I've noted in this video, they've got amazing lifestyle mock-ups over here in addition to the flat lays. They also have this big bold add to basket button without any other options, which is keeping this clean and easy uh, to check out for the customer. And you can see they have rewritten their description here to talk about why this t-shirt design is important and why you should buy it because they partnered up with this with this other 
uh, Conservancy to donate money and different things, right? Now you can also see here that they talk about the sizing and fit. For a looser fit, we recommend ordering one size up. They tell you what the male model is wearing. He's wearing a large. They have a link to the size guide. Then they have some other important uh, things here that you might need to know uh, when you're going to purchase this product. They might help you make a buying decision, right? They've really focused on the right things. One more thing I wanna show you is one of my six-figure founder coaching students. Uh, if you wanna learn more about that, go down in the description, you can get on the wait list. But one of our six-figure founder coaching students, now this is uh, a brand called pbshirt.com. They're in the pickleball niche. Now I have another pickleball student, this is a different one, uh, but they actually focus on uh, pickleball shirts for female pickleball players. So shirts for female pickleball players. But I wanted to show you this Pickleball Barbie design because I really like what they're doing here. And I wanted to show you their product description. Now, this is a great product page. You can see I even left her a review right down here. But this is a great, uh, this is a great page. And she has rewritten her product description. In introducing Pickleball Barbie, this sassy gal is ready to kick butt on the court in her fashionable Pickleball shirt. Show off your skills and style with Pickleball Barbie. Pickles never looked so good. <laughs> it's pretty funny. She's got a link to the size guide, right? And she's talking about uh, sizing down for a tighter fit, 100% super soft cotton, right? All these different things, so good. She's also got a lifestyle mock-up. This is from Placeit, so you can see what it looks like on a model, and she's got her flat lays here. So it's a really, really good product page, right? And this is an example. Now she needs some more social proof. She could upgrade these stock mock-ups that she got from Print On Demand, but overall, she's doing a really great job here and is really giving herself a really great chance to get the purchase from potential customers. That last P of a perfect product page is proof. And what I mean by that is reviews and social proof. Statistics have shown that this is one of the most important things you can do on your entire brand to get more sales is showing reviews and social proof. Now, what that doesn't mean, that doesn't mean you need to have thousands of sales and you need to have all verified purchases. You just need to get some reviews and some social proof to start, right? And as you make more sales, you can get better reviews and more verified reviews, but you need reviews really bad on your product pages. Now I wanna show you again from Whole Strength because they do such a great job. They have like hundreds, maybe thousands of reviews. This is 3,718 reviews. And it's showing their ideal customer, right? They're, they're showing the, uh, the five star reviews, right? And they're, they're showcasing this everywhere. They showcase this on social media, on their product pages, on their homepage. They are showcasing their reviews everywhere. And so I would incur highly encourage you to go get some reviews. Even if it's just a few to start, getting some reviews on your product pages can make a huge difference in your conversion rate and starting to get those sales that you're wanting to get. So those are the four P's of a perfect product page. It starts with the right price, having really high quality mockups, creating an engaging product description, and getting social proof and reviews on that product page. If you wanna learn more about this system and go in depth on upgrading your product pages, I wanna encourage you to go check out our Add to Cart Blueprint program. This is an affordable course that I have that teaches you the four Ps of a perfect product page, and I go in depth on all four of these and actually show you exactly how to implement it on your store step by step. You can go check it out at carryegler.com slash ATC. I'll leave the link down in the description. That's it, I hope you have a great day.